Okay, maple season has begun. I want to cover a couple of uh, species that are related to Japanese maple, uh, very closely related. Um, Acer cerulatum and uh, Acer fabri. Um, Acer cerulatum is this bigger one. Very similar in many respects to Acer palmatum. Um, it's got this nice green bark. The uh, growth, the structure on it is very similar to Acer palmatum. I almost fell. <laughs> um, so, decent sized leaves. Um, really cool star shaped leaves with uh, points on them, points on all the tips. Has this when it first comes out? It has this brownish cast over green. I've seen some that are almost uh, purple, almost like a burgundy when it first uh, flushes in the winter. Actually, not spring. This one uh, is the first one really to come out for me. I have a couple other uh, palmatums that are coming out now, and are almost uh, same at, at the same stage as this one, but not quite. Um, Acer Fabri uh, is found in uh, northern Vietnam and southern China. And this one, at least where I live, is uh, an evergreen. But as you can see, it's got these really cool, it's got this really cool kind of reddish color, new growth on it. Um, looks kind of like a ficus tree to me. But oddly enough, it's very closely related to Japanese maple. Um, it can hybridize with Acer palmatum, Acer fabri, also called the Faber's maple. Um, so, Acer cerulatum is, uh, is from Taiwan, and it's endemic to Taiwan. It's only found there. The largest species of maple in Taiwan, and it gets about 60 feet tall there. But in a garden, I'd expect, uh, you know, 25 feet, 30 feet if you give it the space. Um, both of these maples are probably only hardy till maybe uh, zone 7. Um, I know you can push it at zone 6, but uh, you, you're, you're pushing it at zone 6. Probably Acer cerulatum is uh, more... Uh, will, probably survive zone six better than Acer Fabri, although I'm just guessing. I'm in zone 10A, so I don't really have a problem with these. Um, as far as I know, they both do really well in uh, very hot climates. Um, Acer Cerulatum can handle full sun or shade, either one, and, uh, and a lot of heat, so great, uh, Great tree for uh, California and great tree for the South too, uh, Southern US. Same with both of these trees really. Th this one, uh, Acer Fabri, um, I, I have it in a bit of sun now, but it does really well in deep shade too. So um, I've heard you can even bring these in um, and, and in the winter as a house plant. So if you live in a colder zone, um, that may be an option to bring it in in the winter and uh, put it out during the summer. So anyway, just uh, just something to look at until all the palmatums are out. But so Acer cerulatum, the Taiwanese maple, and Acer fabri, uh, Faber's maple. Um, Oh, another thing I wanted to say is uh, Acer cerulatum is often sold under the name Acer oliverianum um, subspecies formosanum. So you might want to look for it under that. It's kind of rare. You're not going to see it in a lot of places, but it does show up every once in a while. I actually got both of these trees uh, from Mr. Maple, same place I get a lot of my trees. So, anyway, 
Actually, I love both of these trees. They're both great. Acer Fabre, Acer Surlatum. The reason uh, some nurseries will sell this, probably most of them, under Acer Oliverianum subspecies Formosanum is because, you know, the, the names of things change quite a bit, and that's not really good for marketing. You don't want to sell somebody a tree under one name and then have it change the next year and have them accidentally buy it twice and get mad at you. So I think that's why they just stick with the one name. Maybe eventually they'll change it to Sir Latum. But uh, that's the true name. That's the name now um, is Acer Sir Latum. All right. I'll see you again soon. Couple more things about Acer Surlatum. I forgot to mention um, great fall color. Bright, bright orange and red. So that's something to look forward to. And for me, it actually doesn't turn until December. This tree has very short uh, dormancy period for me here in California. Um, it's literally like one month maybe a month and a half of dormancy it goes it's the last leaves fall off around christmas and then the beginning of, of february it's uh flushing its leaves out again so also excellent fall color